here to deploy link clones this is the machine I'm going to use as my source machine and I've got it prepped as per the earlier video that I did, there's a link on the bottom there if you want to go and have a look at the particular article I wrote on prepping the machine for view the last thing I'm going to do before I close it down is just release its IP address it's a DZP client and I'm going to shut down my source machine I'll set off now that it is off I'm going to right click it and take a snapshot of it now I'll call the snapshot linked clone which is a bit of a misnomer to be honest because it's going to be used to create the replica rather than the link clone but just so you can see what it is later on and that will run away in the background and create a clone of that machine now on my connection server if I open up a console session to that I want to be in view administrator uh, I've already got a window open just to save a bit of time and below inventory pools I'm going to add a new pool it's going to be an automated pool and my machines are going to be dedicated as opposed to floating and I want linked clones so select the bottom option it's automatically filled in my view composer and vCenter details now I need an ID, a unique ID for this particular pool maybe you can't put any spaces in the display name is what your users will actually see in their view client and a brief description of what they are next now I'm going to leave everything pretty much on its defaults with the exception of I'm going to allow the users to be able to reset their desktops click next uh, I'm not redirecting Windows profiles and I'm not going to redirect any disposable files next the name and pattern for the machines uh, most of my other machines I'll start with PNL so I'll put a PNL dash LC for link clone dash and then curly brackets n will provide a number on the end which will iterate as it creates new machines I'm just going to put two machines in this pool and I'm going to provision them all up front rather than do them on demand next so take a browse for my machine you'll remember it's called pnl source and there it is and hopefully you should pick up the fact that it's got a snapshot called link clone select that ok VM folder um, I haven't set any up specifically so it will accept the default of discovered virtual machines host or cluster click browse and it should pick up my cluster there it is resource pools again I don't have any so when I click browse it will just pick up my cluster name now data stores where we're going to store everything I'm going to tick the option to use a different data store for the replica and the link clones and I'm going to choose two different bits of storage and you'll see I've got the option to put link clones and or replica disks on either or typically you want your replica disks on your fastest storage if you've got um, solid state drives then that will be an ideal place to put replica disks a quick review and click next now it should automatically populate your domain name and if you've watched all the videos you remember back in the very first one we created uh, an OU for our view desktops and within there we created another OU for our link clones. I am going to use sysprep and I'm going to use a customization specification that I've already got set up. That graphic is on the screen there to show you where to do that if you want to set your own up. Have a quick review of the settings and click finish. OK, 
okay now I've got my pool but nobody can use it until I entitle them to do so so click entitlements and click add and again if you've watched all the videos you'll know I created a group called view users I'll give them entitlement to this pool okay, down in the bottom of the VI client things should start kicking off in a minute what it'll do is it'll clone my uh, PL source. It'll take a copy from the snapshot, and you will see up at the top under your list of VMs, you'll see one called Replica with a big long crazy GUI on the end of it, and that's what it's creating there. Once it's done that. It'll take a clone or clones from that machine and start creating your link clone desktops. You'll see them populating. Now they'll be reconfigured and customized using sysprep. Remember with Windows 7, sysprep is built in. If you were using Windows XP, you'd have to load sysprep into the virtual center server. And the best way to keep an eye on what's going on is below inventory, select desktops and all the way over on the far right hand side you'll see at the minute they're customizing and the status is changing now I have sped this up a lot you need to be very patient until it all become available so there's both my machines created in my pool deployed and available as view clients if that's the case then let's connect to one so from my client machine, which as you can see is Windows XP, I'm going to launch a view client session. Now I'm just going to check my options and make sure I've got my SSL settings turned down because I don't want it complaining about certificates. And I'm going to connect to my connection server and authenticate using my domain credentials, remember this as a user of the view users group and because it is so and I've got an entitlement for link clones I can connect to them all being well after a few seconds we should jump straight into Windows 7 There's my Windows 7 desktop. All done. Remember that's dedicated so when I log back in as that user I'll get that one again as opposed to floating where it'd be returned back to the pool. That's us done. Um, if you watched all the videos thank you very much. Thanks for spending the time to Take a look at what we've done and don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlive.com.